Hello everyone, this is Jeff from wificastle.com. This quick video is going to explain how to set up MAC address access lists on a router. A MAC address access list just simply tells the router which network cards it's going to allow on the network. This is a higher version of security than the encryption because this works at the hardware level where it doesn't matter if a person has the correct passphrase for the encryption if they don't have the network card that is allowed to get on the network they won't be able to get on. This doesn't work instead of encryption but it works with encryption. You'd only use this in a situation where your office or home network doesn't change very often. You're not getting new computers. You know exactly what computers need to be on so you just want to tell the router that only these specific computers need to be uh, or are allowed to connect. What information you need to do this is the physical address, hardware address, or MAC address of the router. They're all the same thing. These are all just different names for the exact same thing. And it looks like this. You can find this in two places. You can find it on the wireless network card itself if it's a USB external network card that you plug in and out of your laptop or your workstation. If it's an internal wireless network card like in laptops, then there's a different way to do it and if you don't have this information uh, on the box or you can't find it on the card, there's a way to get it. And this is how you gain the MAC address. This is a uh, Windows 7 uh, computer here. It has the same interface as Vista, pretty much. Uh, for XP, this doesn't change that much. So you go to Start, you hit Run. If you can't find run, if it's not listed here, then it is in all programs, accessories, run. Type in command or CMD, hit OK. A command prompt comes up, and remember what we're trying to do here is find the MAC address or the physical address of the network cards that we're going to allow onto the router. The command here is ipconfig space dash all. Once you've typed it in, hit enter. This gives you information on the network cards on your computer. What you're looking for is the wireless network adapter. I don't have one on this Windows 7 box since it's a virtual machine. But this is what you're looking for, except it'll say wireless here. And once you find your wireless card in this, in this header, you're looking for the physical address. And here's the physical address right here. So once you have all the physical addresses, then you want to add them to the router. In this case, it's a Netgear. We go down to advanced wireless settings right here. And it's here's the option. Wireless card access list. So we're going to set it up. This is an example. Here's a PC name. Here's the MAC address. So we're going to add one, and we'll call it uh, Jeff PC, and then the MAC address. Now, this is how they want it. So they want the separation up by dashes, and you have to do this specifically the way uh, Netgear wants it, or it's not going to like it. So I'm, I'm assuming you've typed these down, all the MAC addresses, so just you can do a copy-paste here except now you're going to have to change the dashes to uh, what Netgear wants. Okay, so that looks pretty close. Hit add. It changed it and that will work. Now this says forbidden here because I'm on an, I'm on a, an emulator this isn't actually a live router, this is just showing you what to do. So when you do this on your router, you're not going to get this. Um, so again, it's wireless settings, set up the access list, hit add, put in the name and the MAC address. Now once you've done that, only the MAC addresses listed here will be able to get on. For more information, go to wificastle.com.